Hi guys, we are back again to talk about Gabriel Jesus again. Surprise, surprise. I really hope this deal is done very soon, but there's been some development in the Jesus deal. Um, according to reports, I'll put this on the larger screen. Arsenal have reached a verbal agreement with Man City on a, on a fee for Gabriel Jesus, according to Jacobs, Ben Jacobs. So here's what they had to, uh, had to say. The two Premier League sides have been locked in negotiations for some time now, but the breakthrough has finally been made they also go and says um jacobs confirmed that the two clubs have come to an agreement for jesus and that it is highly likely that a deal will be completed in the next seven days so deal will be completed in the next seven days i do expect it to to reach an agreement before the end of the week maybe in terms of completing it in terms of the medical and all that that would carry on until next week but as long as we've had that arsenal and manstead have agreed and the players already um planning his medicals and everything that would be okay but as of now we still haven't had that he's about to join like in terms of medical they've not agreed yet but as according to jacobs that is what they have to say or that is what he has to say time is a dangerous concept in the transfer market with every passing day presenting the chance for footballing vultures the likes of psg to swoop in something technical director edu is um acute, ac acutely aware of the brazilian will be seeking a complete deal for his compatriot as uh, quickly as possible with the eyes of champions league clubs watching intently jacobs also reports that jesus is set to earn around 220,000 a week um 20,000 a week would not be bad at all which would make him the highest honor at the club ahead of current highest honor thomas party the Arsenal board took painful measure to get the wage bill since at set with the helm at London Colony and are now looking to reap the fruits of their labors. Gabriel Jesus would provide much needed threat to the Arsenal attack 100% because at the moment we, we do not have any attackers, leave alone um, whether it's good or not. We, don't, we basically don't have any attackers but apart from Ketis. We do need someone in that position. With Edding Ketch the sole forward at the club due to the recent departure of club captain Alexander Lacazette. At 25 years old, the Brazilian international is entering the prime of his career and with four Premier League titles under his belt already, Arsenal looks set to acquire the best years of Jesus. And if his younger years are, in, are any indication, the Emirates is said to be blessed with a potential world beater. Now, I'd be, I'm st I still agree that this would be a massive deal for us because this is a guy with Premier League experience. This is a guy who's played for manchester city the best club in england over the last um, 10 years combined they've been the best club in england he's played under guardiola he's also played under Ateta before when that was at man city so it's not going to take him had um, a lot of time to adapt there's already brazilians in the team hopefully more to come soon so it will not take him time to adapt at all like signing let's say an awesome from napoli or something this is this is 100 made for us so Really hopeful, hopeful that um, the deal progresses. Obviously, there's still a lot of things that need to be done. Agent agreements, um, the per week wages agreement, all that. The medical has to be done, two, three parts of the medical as well. So there's a lot to be done. I'm guessing right now the player is on holiday or something, so I don't know what, how far he is, but it's going to be really, really interesting. Hopefully, do get the deal done before, as they say, before the vultures swoop in, the likes of PSG and Chelsea. This is definitely made for us. And also, I'm also, I also want to know from you guys, is Jesus enough or do you think we also need another striker? And who is the other striker you think we need? Let's say we sign Jesus and Rafinha. Do you still think we need an, a, another attacker? Because that would be a lot of players up front. Or is Jesus up, uh, up front enough? For me, I don't personally think so. I still think we needed like two strikers, Jesus and someone else plus in Ketia. But that is before I thought we were going to uh, this, uh, in for Rafinha. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But as of now, the Gabriel Jesus deal has been, as uh, verbal agreement has been reached. Hopefully we do get it done as soon as possible.